Okay, strike wars continue from an NHS nurse strike yesterday. It's rail and motorway workers striking today. Members of the UK's biggest rail union began their latest walkout at midnight last night. This one will last a full 48 hours. Just one in five trains are expected to run on Friday and Saturday, hitting services across England, Scotland and Wales. The RMT, UK's biggest rail union, says more than 40,000 workers across the network will strike. Part of 14 train operating companies staging a series of 48-hour walkouts. Action began on the 13th and 14th of December and now starts again today through to Saturday night. Train operators said just 20% of normal services would be running between 7.30am and 6.30pm on both Friday and Saturday. More rail strikes are scheduled early next year. The RMT has also issued an overtime ban for its members across the railway network from 18th of December to the 2nd of January. The ongoing disputes are centred around pay, working conditions and job security. RMT General Secretary Mick Lynch said the union is sorry to inconvenience the public this Christmas, slamming the government for what he called a detrimental offer. He urged people to direct their anger and frustration at the government and railway employees. It's not just railway staff. Motorway workers, including traffic officers in Northern, I Northern England, are also walking out for the first time today. Bus drivers in the South and West London are on strike for 48 hours, although no roads will be closed. Any major incident could result in longer delays, though, with fewer control room staff and traffic officers available. Well, for more on this, our correspondent Alex Isaac joins us live from London. Alex, the strikes continue um, and once again, the whole country is now suffering from a railway strike and it really is grinding the country to a halt in what is one of the busiest times of the year. Absolutely, and you're right to say it's not just the train strikes, actually, like the buses also, some of them are striking, so there's, it's some lines are striking, so it's really difficult to get around. And, and this weekend is the weekend before Christmas. It's the weekend when most people would be going out for their Christmas parties, potentially going out to buy presents for their loved ones, and really putting their money back into businesses which are in desperate need of that money since COVID made us all step away from going out and about. So not having transport specifically on this weekend will be a bit of a nightmare. And of course, the freezing weather doesn't help. It's minus four here at the moment, and it's going to get cold as we go into night. So people are even making those journeys because they're going out in taxis and they're trying to get out and spend their money. It might be freezing and they may have difficulties and therefore would lead to falls and that potentially could lead to ambulances coming out and going into hospitals, which of course, that they're also going to be on strike as well. So there isn't just one thing here. It is a whole host of issues that are going around through transport and throughout all of our, most of our civil services as well, that are really going to be detrimental to, to the UK, not just now at Christmas, but also into the new year. We're seeing a recession on the high, on the high light. Our inflation isn't coming down that fast all of these problems going on and at the moment the public doesn't seem to be on side with the RMT at all right now. TSSA who are also part of the unions that have been on strike have accepted the pay increase from the government but the RMT haven't. They said the talks are still open at the moment and there is a whole week to go before the next strikes ahead on uh, Christmas Eve but it doesn't seem that Mick Lynch and the RMT are, are really looking to move forward so quickly to get to get it moving now especially not for this weekend which will be a real shame for everyone Alex as you mentioned the conditions as well it's it's so cold in London and, and there's worry of course if there's a big incident on the roads that things are going to be slower because there's less people working so it could actually bring an increased danger to some people in the country Absolutely. I mean, you can see behind me, I'm on a junction here and you know, the traffic keeps coming because people are having to choose cars and taxis instead of public transport. There are a few buses running around, of course, and, and some of the tubes are uh, working as well. But people need to get to work and they need to get to places. Not everyone has the luxury of working from home all the time, so they will need to be out and about. And as this is the final weekend, as I mentioned before Christmas, it is you know, usually this is a mayhem Friday anyway. People have gone out when it's freezing and they'll end up 
falling over and because of the, the icy conditions, which is still you know, prevalent on the streets here of London. So it, it will lead potentially to a lot, a lot of dangerous situations. And, and when there aren't going to be as many people or the traffic is, is backed up everywhere, then obviously ambulances can't get through. So people must ensure that they take responsibility and take themselves a safe places tonight. So if you are going out, uh, you make sure you wear sensible shoes and a, and a good strong jacket. Alex Isat live in London. Firstly, go and get warm and secondly, many thanks for your insights.